G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video to show you how to access config files on Linux Mint. Now, um, config files are everywhere on Linux really, there's a lot of places you can find them and there's a lot of popular places I'll show you now where you can find them too. Now the reason why you would want to edit a config file is to get something working in the way that you want it to work, such, an, such as an FTP server or an SSH server or a web server or pretty much any sort of server but also a lot of um, other sorts of files too. Now I'll just navigate to um, a config file I might know. So this is actually generally done by the terminal but you can do it by a normal text editor. Um, okay so let me just think of one. I haven't really thought ahead for this video. sudo nano etc um, apache2 and uh, oh, here we go, this is a good one. See, I've got a, a web server on here, the Apache 2 server. So uh, just navigate to that on, uh, assume, this is assuming you also have, uh, sorry, uh, Apache 2 installed. So if you don't have it installed, what you'd first want to do is go to sudo apt-get install Apache 2. And then hit enter and follow the prompts. But being the case that I'm just going to show you how this goes, I'll type in sudo nano, etc. Uh, sorry, etc. Uh, Apache 2 Apache 2 config. Hit enter, throw in my password, and here we go. So everything with a hash in front of it means it's uh, ignored by the actual uh, config configuration setting, so it won't. Uh, it's it's really not going to affect what's in here. Anything without a. Um, a a hash tag again will actually be uh, accepted and used by the server. So uh, I, I saw a, a timeout of 300 seconds. There's a lock file. Keep live on. There's you'll actually find a lot of things that make sense and a lot of things that won't make sense. I'm just trying to find something that people might uh, see to make sense. Maximum clients maybe. Start servers. Thread limits. There's usually something fairly decent in here. Um, HT access. Um, yeah, was, yeah. There's it's a it's a big config file. It goes on forever. Usually they're all uh, pretty decent security uh, default configuration uh, setups, but uh, sometimes oh, include sites enabled. But uh, sometimes uh, there's some really unusual things you don't know about and it's, it's just generally good to keep it that way. Uh, another way is to Google what are some good configuration security configuration settings. And this is basically a text editor and when you are done just say you make a difference uh, press Control X together and then it will ask you if you want to save the, the settings. <coughs> press Y for yes and enter and there you go. Another easier way that most uh, newbies like to start off with it is to actually type in get it which is a uh, it's a default visual text editor in Mint. So sudo get it and then name of the config file. Hit enter and let that one pop up. And then there you go. You'll see uh, it'll be easier to move around a little bit and press control F to find something that might be of importance to you. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you uh, edit, uh, find and edit some config files. You'll also find that a lot of config files are actually found within uh, etc. So a lot of files, uh, the config configuration files or parameters of files are really found in here. Uh, hosts deny, that's a good one to stop a lot of people from um, doing, uh, just trying to hack into your machine essentially with uh, brute force attacks and there's Lots of things. Uh, you'll know what you're looking for, so don't feel overwhelmed by this. Just say you've, you've installed Python and you've got that running and you want to f change a few things there, or AppArmor, or um, any sort of server, a mail server, web server, like Apache I did a moment ago, SSH server, FTP server. You'll know what you're looking for when you're looking for it, essentially. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So I that's just a quick video. It's kind of dragged on a little bit, but I uh, hope that's been of some help to you. All right, cheers.